It is now early, uh, early August of 1807, uh, and not much happened, in all honesty. The French basically are scattered everywhere. Napoleon, last I saw him, was inside these pastures. I don't have any visibility on him now. We took out Oldenburg, which is quite easy, no problem whatsoever. The Prussians actually took Hanover, so I don't know if it's actually worth it to actually take Castle, because, well, our way, in, our way to get to it, first, uh, first it's blocked by Jean Lan. Secondly, there's Vimeux down here. There is also another French army down here by... I don't know how to say that name. Uh, but we, we brought back our army. We now have it on the bridge and we have another one on the bridge. So they are basically stuck here. So they, they can only either go back through the Alps or attack one of us. We have... Excuse me. We have also brought the army from Toulouse all the way to Marseille. They took the ships all the way to here, and next turn we will attack Corsica and take it, and hopefully the Prussians take out Castle and the French will be defeated if they do that. In other news, Greece is back. Lucky for them, I guess. Can we actually see what type of units they have? I think they can only make line infantry, which is unfortunate, but so well. And I believe my plan remains the same. I still want to declare war on Saxony, have them bring in Prussia and Austria, but I'll peace out with Austria because I don't really want to fight them as of yet. And we shall take dun -dun 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 -dun, all of this around here, make a push over to there, take Warsaw, take Mecklenburg. Mecklenburg, who are you allied to? Speaking of, to Denmark and Prussia. Oh. If we declared war on Mecklenburg, it might be better for us. I mean, it's right in our path. We would also attack Copenhagen. And we already have some ships blocking their ships from coming. And after that, we can also attack the Danish fleet that is down here, take it and we can finally have all of the trade notes for ourselves and basically we would have a monopoly, which is really, really good. I already have a complete fleet here of basically India men and they are all ready to, to go to that trade note whenever it is vacant. In other news, the French... Ooh, Oh my god, that was actually quite lucky. The French actually got a revolt because it wasn't the... The French are still alive, it was just French rebels. Only a couple of armies. I just put infinite movement to just catch up to them because they kept running away. And then I killed them and came back to here. No problem whatsoever. It would just be annoying to actually deal with them, so... Eh. I won't, I won't deal with them any longer. Blusha, Blusha is here. And Berlin is actually... Have they actually... Oh, they have actually made the university and their the thingy for the national prestige. Incredible. All right, then. So what else is there for me to do? Well, not much, really. As I have stated, now we are going to take Corsica, hopefully the Prussians actually take Castle, that way they are weakened, and in, and in the following turns we shall grab all of our armies. Speaking of, we should be building 10, 10 units of these over here. Um, we shall grab all of our armies and declare war on Mecklenburg, that will draw Copenhagen well, Denmark and the Prussians into the war, and we can take them out. That should be it, I believe. That should be the end of the... My god, they have so much 
old guard. That's just absurd. Um, yeah, that should be the end of the French and the beginning of the end of the Prussians. So I am looking forward to that. So, as I've stated, the plans. We shall now take Corsica, which is right here. So I don't. I think we're going to auto-resolve it. Yeah, we're going to auto-resolve this battle. Then we're going to declare war on Mecklenburg. Then we're going to attack Prussia and Denmark. Should be fun. Welcome to the Battle of Ayakio. Or the Battle of Corsica or whatever. And this is going to be the very, very last battle in this campaign of Scotland. I decided that with the conquest of Corsica, we will have 25 provinces out of the 60. And I decided... You know what, it's just going to be basically the same thing over and over and over and over again in this campaign. I cannot lose, so I'm always forced to fight. And whenever I I fight a lot, actually, let's just start the battle and I'll explain my, my things. Right, they are coming from right behind me. Okay, so this battle is going to be the very last for a couple of reasons. First one, I am actually not enthused by it anymore. It's just basically the same thing over and over again as I have stated previously. And it's just not changing anything. It's always the same thing without change. I, As I was saying, I cannot lose battle because if I lose battle, that's basically an army that that basically disappears out of the face of the earth. And I don't really want to fight much because anytime I fight, I risk losing most of my army, if not all of it. And if I lose a whole lot of men, because there are Highlanders that can, uh, that can only be recruited in the Scottish provinces, I am always weary of losing them so I always take my time in fighting and I feel that I don't show you guys the best ba the best battles possible so I know that Napoleon can have amazing battles if if the game decides why wow, you just screamed into my ear earbuds so um as I was saying the game the game can have amazing battles but right now, these ones, I feel they are everything but epic battles. Right, and form a square. For example, this, the they have but the one general. And they just do that. Yeah, not, not too interesting in the slightest, is it? Just having the general suicide charge himself into our lines. Well, at least he suicides and they lose a lot of morale. So that, that is good in some regards. Other, th other things is I don't feel that this campaign can actually be any more interesting than than it has been up to this point. Um, France is going to be defeated, so with their defeat, I'm going to mark the end of of this series. We are going to take their island province of Corsica, and that will be the end of our campaign as a whole. Another thing that's actually quite annoying is the AI always chooses to not do a pitched battle. They always want these stupid things that are boring to watch, to watch. And if they don't, and if they actually go and attack us, they are, they just go to either my flanks or they just mass charges. So. I want to do diff a different campaign because this one, I feel in all honesty, it has breached its formal limit. And my god, it has reached 
Oi, okay. It has reached its formal limit and I feel that we got everything we could out of it that was of significance. We basically took the western parts of Europe already. It is all ours. And I know for certain that after this it was just going to be the snow globe effect. They... Um, all the other factions they would have one, two, maybe three tops big battles against me. But then that would be that. They would not have any other big army to contend against me. And yeah, that is not fun in the slightest, now is it? So, with those reasons, I am going to actually... Well, I'm not going to stop it right now because we are in the middle of a battle and this is going to be the very, very last battle. If I have disappointed anyone with this series, well, feel free to leave a dislike because that way I know that you guys didn't like this and you want something different. Or if you guys want any other series in particular, please do free... Do feel free to comment in the comment section, because that's why it's there. And suggest me campaigns that I should do. Now bear in mind, the only mods that I am willing to use are either Napoleon Torso Factions, which is actually going to be not that big of a choice right now, simply because why bother Napoleon to the Darth Mod Napoleon? has the exact same choices that I can actually make with a whole bunch different a whole bunch of different units. So that is exactly what I'm going to do. So if you guys have any faction that you would love to see in in Napoleon Total War or any other game I guess doesn't really matter much. Do feel free to suggest them. Because I would like to know the um, I would like to know you guys' opinion on this matter. What factions would you guys like me to to play as, and so on and so forth? Yeah, right now they just they're just taking a whole bunch of time to actually do anything, and I think the AI cheats. I think they are bringing a whole bunch more men than they actually ha have properly on the battlefield right you right there and look at my columns running right get the general nice and cozy up in the center And finally they I decided to actually have a pitched battle against me, even if it is a weird one. I mean they never form a proper line in front of me. Which is a shame. But at least our general is under attack. Cool. Let him be under attack. Let him show his men that he is not afraid of death. And because I'm not afraid of losing all of my men, I can just get my cavalry over there. And actually, add these guys over there. Ooh, a little bit of lag with that charge. And are they charging us? I believe they are. Either that or they are just... Because they... they they see all of these men, they decide, oh, we need to get more in the center because they have a lot more men over there. Right, you go to there. You go to there. Yeah, this battle is basically done and dusted now. Right, a good charge on their backs and there we go the sound is a little bit weird today but never mind the final battle in the Scottish campaign has been won 
Now we just need to wait until the end of Rogue Victory. Now we just need to wait till the end of the entrant phase. Take Corsica and that will be the end of the campaign. As I have stated before, we have... Okay, how do we check that? We have 24 out of the 60 provinces. We own basically half of Europe. Basically, if we took Italy, it would be half of Europe. And, and yeah, this is going to be the very last attack and the very last conquest that the Scottish will make in Europe. We have conquered a whole, whole bunch. And in all honesty, what would I what would I have done if I would have continued the campaign? Well, for starters, I would have properly taken out France out of the equation. But why bother? In all honesty, uh, it's not really that terribly interesting to actually do anything of the sort. So what would have happened? in the following turns if I were to actually continue the campaign and not end it today. Well, for starters, uh, the moment I declared war on... Oh, they actually took Berlin. But France is going to absolutely lose Berlin because they had, there's a Prussian army right outside their gates. And there's Napoleon himself. Yeah, you don't have that big of an army, let me tell you. So. What would have happened? I would have taken out France, because they're my biggest adversary, adversary, I should say. Then we would have gone for either Austria or Prussia. Either one of them, we, we would get Russia into the war. So that would have meant that, I don't know what, oh right, I have a spy over there. That would have meant that we would have to declare war on Russia, Austria and Prussia all at the same time. What does that mean? I would need to actually be at war with three big, big factions that have potential to have massive, massive armies right from the get-go and keep on fighting until the very bitter end. So it will be basically non-stop war from late August of 1807 until... How long do I have to actually take? Until late December of 1813. Yeah, that is quite a lot of battles and quite a lot of war. Austria have a lot of armies over here in Munich, armies over here in Innsbruck. There's also the Venetians. Milan would be easy, but I know taking Vienna would be a pain and actually holding it because there's, like France, they would be very, very annoyed. They're still annoyed right, right now that I am their overlord. Same, th same thing for Berlin, same thing for Moscow, same thing for every capital city in this bloody game. So, that is why I am calling it the end right here. We have done a whole bunch of conquering and you guys know the drill. Um, it's basically going to be impossible, it was impossible right from the beginning, um, for, um, for any of the AI factions to actually contend with me because I have... Also many armies stationed all around. I have one there, one there, one there, one there. I have another one here, another one there. Another one right here, another one right there, another one there, I guess. No, not here, but two right here. Yeah, um, I and another one right, <laughs> right here as well. Another one right here, another one right here. Yeah, it's... Basically impossible for the AI to contend with my... How many armies? How many do I have? My 13 armies and I can have 17. So that would mean that I would I would have gone here to Edinburgh and I would have made... <laughs> how many was it? That's a 13, not 15, right? So, I have 13, I will make 14, 15, 16, 17 armies. Four more armies that I would that I would have extra that I don't know where to put. There's just way, 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 way too many armies. I mean, I'm happy that I have all those armies, but 
For example, Poland, not that big of a threat. Korla, not that big of a threat. Stockholm, uh, Stockholm, Sweden, here in Stockholm, might be a bit of a threat because their armies are actually quite good. Copenhagen, they also have, they can also have guards, so that might be difficult. Mecklenburg is easy. France is basically on their limits. Prussia, it's going to be a bit difficult because they have, they can also have the potential to have guards. Saxony have a lot of men. A whole lot of men for whatever reason yeah it's going to be and it's going it's going to be very difficult annoying tedious and overall not that worth it in my opinion I'd rather do another campaign a little short this time around and make it short and sweet rather than have 50 episodes out of the same series it's just that's not how I play. I don't like to make too many episodes on one series because, for starters, I get bored. I know you guys get bored. And if we reach a completion that I feel, yeah, this is satisfactory, I'm not going to continue. I mean, this is already pretty damn good. 25 faction, 25 provinces conquered as Scotland. And I own all of the trade nodes. Yeah, that is... That is something incredible to behold. And that is where I will leave this campaign. We own half of Europe, the western part, and I am quite, quite happy with what we have conquered up until this point and what we could have conquered if we went all the way. But because we are not going all the way, we are going to stop, we are going to stop here where it is still fun to watch. I'm going to say goodbye to all of you. I'm going to thank you all of you who stayed up, stay tuned to this series and have enjoyed it. If you didn't enjoy it, well, leave a dislike because leaving a dislike or a like, it helps me know that you guys actually like what I am providing to you guys. And if not, well, I can you can tell me in the comment section what you would actually would like to see in future campaigns, just so it is not repetitive. So. I leave you with the sight of Edinburgh and I thank you again for watching this series and I will see you on the next one.